Have you ever wondered how professional designers create unique logos that capture a brand's essence? Well, look no further because in today's video I'm going to reveal one of the industry's top kept secret, the pencil tool in Adobe Illustrator. This amazing tool is a must have for every designer trying to take the logo design game to the next level. So put on your creative hat, open up Adobe Illustrator and join me on this exciting journey on learning more about the pencil tool. Let's get started. So if you're a designer, you've probably already heard of the pencil tool in Adobe Illustrator. But do you know just how powerful it can be for creating a logo design? This tool allows you to draw freehand lines and shapes, perfect for customizing typography and creating unique logos that stand out from the crowd. By using the pencil tool, you can adjust every curve, angle and design element of your logos. This can help you create engaging and personalized designs that capture the brand's personality and values. For example, you can turn this into that in just a few simple steps using the pencil tool. Watch until the end to see how. So let's dive right in. But before actually using the pencil tool for logo design, it's very important to know how to correctly adjust its settings. Maybe you have tried using this tool, but the output was not what you expected. Well, I have a few solutions that will help you fix this. So the first thing we want to do is actually double click the pencil tool in order to open up the settings panel. We're going to begin by increasing the smoothness of the pencil tool all the way up to the top. Then make sure that all of the boxes displayed are checked. And additionally, you can raise this value up to 20. Now let's go and check up the settings for another tool, the so-called smooth tool. Again, double click the tool and then increase the smoothness all the way up. Additionally, we can go back to our settings panel for the pencil tool and make sure that option key toggles the smooth tool is turned on. This way we can easily switch between the smooth tool and the pencil tool just by clicking the alt option key. Now that we know how to correctly adjust the settings of the pencil tool, let's dive right into customizing typography and creating logos using the pencil tool. We'll start by creating a logo for a dog toys company called Softy. You can easily download this font from Adobe Fonts library if you have an active Adobe subscription. So the first step is to actually create outlines for your type. Just right click the word and then click on create outlines. Then we're gonna go ahead and ungroup everything so we can work on each letter individually. Once you've done that, turn on the pencil tool to adjust the typography. The faster access to the pencil tool, you can use the end key as a shortcut. Now I'm going to show you how you can remove parts of letters, create ligatures and glyphs, add swooshes and tails to your letters and create a more unique and personalized logo. So for this project, I chose Cooper Black. For me, this is an amazing typeface and it's both friendly and rounded. So I think it really suits the dog company. The name of the company is Softly, so a more round typeface would be perfect. Yet again, looking at the word, to me, it still doesn't look soft enough. So we're going to change up some stuff about the font using our handy dandy pencil tool. So let's start with the letter S. We're going to round it up a little bit using the pencil tool. Then clicking the option key, we can easily toggle between the pencil tool and the smooth tool. So this really helps to smooth out any curves and lines that need to be smoother. Next up, let's work with the F and the T. In my opinion, those are the most problematic letters in this logo type. So basically, we're going to need to round them up a bit. Let's just zoom in on the F and let's just start working with it. First things first, we want to round those shapes by just drawing over them. This is the magic and the power of the pencil tool. This is just how easy it is. You can also remove parts of the shape, again, just by drawing over it and connecting the different parts. Then using the smooth tool, which we can always turn on by using the Alt key and again, drawing over the typeface, we can always smooth out our lines and curves to make them even nicer. Now let's continue with the T. For me, the T is probably the most rectangular of all of the letters in this word. So again, we're just going through the letter, 
step by step and we're going to round up all of the different shapes in order to create this soft feel. Keep in mind, this can take several tries. It's a trial and error process. So basically go over the shape as much as you need until you have achieved your desired effect. Keep in mind, you can always use the smooth tool to create the exact shape that you have in mind. Now I'm going to bring some of the letters closer together as we have removed some elements. Let's continue with the Y. Here I would actually like to remove some parts and we can easily remove the tail of the letter by again drawing over it using the pencil tool. Now we're going to create our own custom tail by grabbing the pencil tool and drawing the desired shape. I think it will be really nice if the tail of the Y underlines the T and part of the F. So this is what I'm going to try and achieve here. I'm just going to continue doing this until we have a desired shape. And there you have it. This is how you go from this to that. So for the next two designs, I'm actually going to use fonts from Pixel Surplus. They have a whole category with free goodies, which you can use. Just be sure to always check if it's there for commercial or personal use. Next up, we're going to create a really fun and easy liquid and groovy kind of effect for a brand called Amore, which is a luxury jewelry brand. So basically what I really like about this typeface and this word is the letter A. I really like the kind of gap that it's created there. So I'm going to try and recreate a similar look for all of the other letters, starting with the letter E. I like to have this kind of gap that the A also has. So first I'm going to work on the inner part of the letter by just selecting it and drawing over the letter using the pencil tool. Then I'm going to repeat the exact same process for the outer part so we can create this kind of a whole effect. Now we're going to do the exact same thing for the rest of the letters and just keep in mind I'm going to go over the letters with the smooth tool as well in order to smooth out any uneven curves or shapes. This is how you can turn this into that. And finally, let's work on a brand called Fiore, which is a boutique flower shop brand. Here we are working with this really nice clean serif typeface, but I feel like we're missing something. So I want to add some custom glyphs and ligatures. I'm thinking that we can connect the I and the R going through the O. And we're going to do this, of course, using the pencil tool. But this time we're going to set it up to stroke and not to fill. And we're going to use the width tool in order to control the thickness of the stroke. So let's do that. Let's draw a line between the I and the R. This might take several tries in order to achieve the perfect shape that we want. And we can always go over this shape with the smooth too. Once we're happy with what we have achieved, we can then go ahead and click on the width tool. So basically the width tool allows you to adjust the thickness of the lines at specific points along the pad. So this way we can create more dynamic and interesting letters. So now that we have created our own custom ligature, I still feel like something's missing. So I'm going to create my own glyph on the letter F. And let's just do that by drawing over the top part of the F. In order to balance things out, I'm going to do the exact same thing at the end of the word for the letter E. So let's just create our own custom glyph. This is how you can turn this into that. Now that we've seen how the pencil tool works, I have some bonus tips for you that will help you improve your logo design process even more. 
So tip number one, use the pen tool to adjust your curves even further. The pen tool is perfect for creating precise pads and shapes. If we need to make further adjustments, we can use the pen tool to add or remove anchor points and further adjust those curves and lines. Tip number two, use the smooth tool. In the examples I showed, I've already used the smooth tool several times in order to smooth out those lines and curves and have them exactly as I have imagined them. The smooth tool can help you easily smooth out any rough paths. Additionally, we can use the simplify path tool in order to further simplify paths and remove unused anchor points. This will make our shapes much more easier to work with. So my last tip is to use the width tool. It allows us to adjust the thickness of our lines at specific points of our path. This gives us even more control over the appearance of our design. By combining these tools with the pencil tools and the techniques that we have learned, we can create more interesting and visually appealing logo designs that also represent the brand's values, mission and its personality. Thank you for watching today's video on using the pencil tool in Adobe Illustrator for creating customized typography and unique logos that stand out. As we have seen, the pencil tool in Adobe Illustrator is an amazing tool that can help you create more interesting and fun logo types. By understanding and fine-tuning the different settings and options, you can use the full capabilities of the pencil tool. Remember, practice makes perfect, so the more you use the pencil tool, the more comfortable and proficient you will become with it. Don't be afraid to experiment with different techniques to find your own unique style and approach. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll be sure to check them out. If you want to keep learning about the power of design in e-commerce, be sure to like this video, hit that notification bell and subscribe to my channel for more insights, tips and tricks every week. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.